Hello beautiful friends, as some of you may know, I was a flight attendant before and over the years I've definitely developed a few essential habits that really help make these long flights the most comfortable possible. So today I would like to share that with you. So I always bring this oats jar with all my favorite stuff inside to eat as a snack or a breakfast depending on what they serve on the flight. According to Ayurveda, oats help balance out the dryness of flying. And if you would like to know more about what foods you can eat to help your body accommodate better to flying, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on that. So I bought some organic grapes, dried dates, and some rice crackers for some saltiness. Sometimes you don't feel like eating everything sweet. Coconut chips. And some pistachio, also for saltiness. This is my favorite tea, yogi tea. You can buy this. I don't know if you can't buy this at where, wherever you are. They might be available on iHerb, I'm not so sure. It's called Woman's Balance. And definitely I always bring an empty flask so that I can get the flight attendants to put in hot water and I can get to mix it with the really, really cold water they serve and I get warm water. And so far, this is my favorite lip balm. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else uk maybe made in switzerland it's called simi lassan i i had really dry lips in the winter and only this one could save my lips and it's called sos it's a natural cosmetic brand i got this as a gift from a friend it's a scarf from muji and i like to bring this to roll around my neck and you know when I sleep, I, I don't like to show my face but I still want to breathe. A lot of my flight attending friends would wear a face mask to go to sleep so that you know when you drool and your mouth's open, nobody sees it. But I prefer this. I just cover my head and I sleep. You can still see my face but <laughs> I, I guess psychologically it's not as ugly as ah uh, yeah anyway i'm always afraid of the cold so i'll bring a cardigan i bought this neck support thing they have really good reviews so i bought them it's called trtl pillow it's called pillow but it's nothing like a pillow but this thing is pretty great you wrap it around your neck and it really helped me sleep. So I think if you're a back sleeper, you, you shouldn't have much problem with just, uh, you know, the sausage roll that support your neck during a flight. But for me, if you're like me, a side sleeper, we always need something to lean on and stuff like that. So this has quite a, like a firm plastic thing inside and you put it here or wherever you feel comfortable and you just wrap it around and it's quite good it holds your chin from falling down and stuff like that and yeah i managed to get a couple of hours rest which is unusual in economy class i'll leave a link down below you can get this from amazon and yeah trtl pill not really like a pillow but it works so if you're a slight sleeper if you're slight if you are a side sleeper, definitely you could try this out if you travel a lot. It's not really cheap, but I think it's worth it if you travel more than twice a year, I would say. Tongue scraper. So for me, this is really important. It's more important than a toothbrush. In the morning, if you have a little bit of not so great breath, it's because you have accumulated toxins that your body removed when you were sleeping and they end up on your tongue that white layer so are you better practice scrape your tongue all the bad stuff bacteria and everything so sometimes some some flights provide um, toothbrush and toothpaste but 
never a tongue scraper, so I always bring mine with me. Especially if someone is meeting you at the airport, and especially if the person is your partner. <laughs> yes. um, the next thing is this. It's basically nasal oil. You can put coconut oil or uh, I put sesame oil. What you do is uh, take a little bit, take an inhale as you drip it into your nostrils for the flight so it keeps your nasal passages moistured and it's good because the flight is very dry and when it's dry your throat gets irritated you get more prone to viruses and stuff so this is also another ayurvedic practice that i always do for my flex and in winter it's really good too if you live somewhere where the air is very dry like here in Switzerland. Most flags will have earplugs but if they don't already provide you on your seat, you could always request for a pair from the flight attendants. For me, I prefer earplugs that are just covering the outside, they work really well. Instead of those foam ones they provide which goes all the way into the ear canal. Also, another lip balm, this brand called Hurao. It has a little tint in it so you it not only keeps your lips moisturized but mm, a bit pink. It smells great. Like oh, so cherry -y, berry -y. and the great thing is only a couple of ingredients prunus amygdalus sweet almond oil um, some wax, coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, castor oil, olive oil, fruit oil, organic flavors. Oh, it's even organic and cold pressed. In my next video, you will find a yoga sequence best to practice before your flight and after your flight so that your body and mind stays calm and adjust easily to the differences of traveling. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!